Okay, this video now is about the uh, library over here. The library is probably the least understood and uh, most important part of Basecamp. It's the area that all your data is held and it, that's all it really is, is a database. I've called mine Jim's Garmin Database because my name's Jim. Very imaginative like that. Why is it so important? Well, if I just did this, um, without neatly tidying away things into folders, uh, what you end up is a map with, hun with potentially hundreds and thousands of routes on it, and it's just utterly unusable. What we really want to see is a nice clean map, or we want to be able to go and have a look at a specific route So we can just work on that without the encumbrance of all the other routes that are in and around that area at the same time. So that's why we set up these folders. So I, you can see that some folders are set up automatically. Uh, the data received from memory card is set up automatically when the, when the system is created, as is Garmin's tracks, as is POI. So you can see that what I've done is uh, created uh, Jim Roots, because that's my name, and uh, this thing here called Z Planning, and I put the Z at the front of it so that it's always at the bottom of the list. I guess you could use A1, and it could always be at the top of the list. Doesn't really matter as long as it's somewhere that you can go to. And I use this for creating routes, but we'll we'll create a route uh, later, and I'll show you how to um, move the route then from your uh, the planning folder area into the area that uh, you want to save it. So creating a folder, very simple, you right click on the top level database and it will come up, create new list folder. <clears throat> and that's all it is, it's a folder that create that contains a load of lists. So I'll just open a folder with some lists in it. Okay, so here we go. Spain 2015, there is one list, the Broto loop. Uh, under Save Routes, I've got all these other lists. This is the Across Dartmoor route. Um, yeah, these are just lo loops that I've created. This is my favourite home, Augusta Westlands, Boscombe Down, back to home loop. So hopefully you can see now that we've got a folder, subfolders, sub subfolders, and you can have sub sub subfolders if you wish. And inside a folder we store lists. And lists can, will contain routes, waypoints, points of interest, whatever you want. So if I showed you um, a reasonably complex one, this one here called Final Route for the South Hurst Peninsula Spring Rally later on, or next week in fact. And um, final route, here's the route. Down at the bottom here, and the final route gives all the details, so I've got some, um, well I've created points of interest, the start, uh, the old police station cafe, cafe, which is one of the manned points, the engine room cafe in Dorchester, another manned point, uh, the, uh, another manned point up near Ilfacombe, a Perrin Porth Green Parrot, Mand Point mm. and uh, Poundbury Gardens. Don't know why I've got that twice. Uh, these are waypoints so that I've created again off the route map. Dead simple, you know, when you click on them, they just appear nice and neatly on the, on the map for you. So we've got points of interest, we've got um, waypoints. And then at the bottom here, I have my route. And here's a route I've created it in blue. If you double click on the route here, or on the actual route, it doesn't matter. You come up with a uh, route card. Come with a route card here. Here we go. Uh, this gives you a little bit more detail about your route. So the start point, the uh, distance and time between the start point and the next uh, 
points on the route and you can see it's nicely highlighted there so you can, you can just sit here and follow your route round through the route card and watch it progress on the map just by using the down arrow. Um, scoot down to the bottom you can see that this is apparently a 258 mile route which is a 7 hour 20 minutes according to Garmin. Up here you can change the colour of the route so I like to use blue for a morning ride and red for an afternoon ride if it's if it's an all-dayer and um, <clears throat> with a stop for lunch just to, just to break it up a little bit. One of the neat things you can do is you can invert the route so this is going in a anti-clockwise direction if I wanted to you just click that and it would turn it into a um, clockwise direction. Anyway I'll do that later. So there we are. Database folders, subfolders, sub subfolders. Within a folder you can have folders or lists and a list can contain waypoints, points of interest, uh, routes, tracks or any information you can store on a list. I have set it up so that I have <coughs> um, name folders. This is the ride routes. This is the ride, best rides for Britain book that I've painstakingly in fact ride routes are painstakingly everywhere um, so you know here's the best passes not a great one to show let me show southwest okay so uh, southwest routes tank bag tour guide for Lyme Regis there we go so that's straight out of the uh, ride magazine so you can see I've got that's Jim's routes ride routes so I've got them from the ride magazine UK Southwest and then a list and the list contains the route and the route double click on here you can find out a little bit about the route that is 139 miles at 4 hours 6 minutes apparently and it's red so that's it setting up folders and lists within um, Basecamp.